And there we are. Oh, excuse me. Oof. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, fuck. Pull this over here. Good morning, everybody. Afternoon, I suppose, if you're East Coast like me. But it feels kind of like morning. All right. What is on the agenda for today? We're continuing to work on this song. Um, I went and exported the stems from the other one so that um, I could bring them into this project and start actually working on something past the intro. Uh, let's recap real quick. I'll play what I have so far and then we'll begin uh, working on this. That's not going to fly. Why does OBS do this, man? Let me see what I could do. I do have to refreeze some stuff. Apologies. I changed a couple things in the intro yesterday, so I'm going to play it. This should work. From the start, so I pass my time telling myself that I'm good on my own. Then you saw me straight through the camouflage, took away my hate, made me realize maybe I shouldn't be all on my own. But I can't look away, concentrate on anything but you. 
And that's where we are. So I changed a couple things in the intro, primarily just this. I, I changed this part, uh, the new break. Uh, there was an old break. I changed it. It now sounds like this. I wanted something that moved a little bit quicker. It felt weird to kind of just like have a stopping point right there, especially since the intro is kind of slow. So. All this is is um, that electric guitar in which I'm actually gonna knock off some of these. So I did something interesting here that I wanted to show you guys. All right, so check this out. This is uh, two serum patches that are exactly the same and it's one set of chords it's oh fuck where did the where'd the chords go well anyways if i take this we'll do a new midi track okay if i take these fuck dude come on if i take these copy them paste okay and then i take these copy paste they make up like one chord so this side is panned to the right and this side is panned to the left there might be another way to do it I don't really care um, but basically I split up a chord uh, with various notes in the chord and then made one patch pan to the right and one patch pan to the left it makes a very like organic stereo sound so Probably can't even tell, but I thought it was cool. So now here we are on the drop. Um, I brought these stems in from the other project. Um, here, I'll show you what it sounded like because I have this right here. It sounded like this. So pretty cool. I like that drop. It is old, it's from February. So I didn't bring over any of the drums or anything because I wanna just put in new drums. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. This needs to go away. So I brought over what I wanted. Um, here are these chords. Fuck, come on. And I grabbed the MIDI because I actually want to totally redo this patch and I have my chord flutter patch. So that's what we're going to start with. So let's make a new one and then I'll go down. Grab my flutter chords. And oh, I wish I would have saved the other one. It's all right, I can fix it. Oh.
All right, so this is, I explained this process in the last track that I did, but I'm actually just gonna go and redo uh, what I was explaining. I was talking about um, changing something to, or changing like, so we obviously have a synth patch here. I have serum and a brass, um, and I believe they're still here, right? The fuck would I know? Right here. Yeah, so they're both still in here. There's the serum, there's the brass, and that's gonna eat a absolute shitload of CPU. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get rid of both of those and how I'm gonna get it to sound almost exactly the same and consume so much less CPU that it's gonna blow your fucking mind. So first of all, let's just see how much CPU this uses. Watch, I say this now and then something's gonna happen. It's gonna glitch, but let's just watch. So it's like peaking at 100 for sure. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this rack. And then I'm going to get rid of all the MIDI. I'm going to, in this uh, synth chain, I'm just gonna move that for a second and I'm gonna go into this part uh, this is the chord slayer part. This is all the processing and stuff that makes it a rack. I'm just going to turn that whole thing off. So now all that I'm left with is the uh, serum and the brass rack and simple saw. That's all that's left. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record like a C3 just like that. I could freeze and flatten it, but I like to resample. Just to make sure that we're not clipping or anything and everything is as should be. So let me resample this. See, it's even destroying my CPU just playing one fucking note. Actually, that's a lie. It's because this is on. And that should be plenty long enough. So I'll delete that. The crank packs are uh, old. Those are old, old. Crank pack two is just mine. Crank pack volume one I put out in like 2015. I don't know if that's available anywhere <laughs> anymore, but I'm working on new samples and stuff, so. All right. So now I have that tone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these synths, okay? Because I don't need those. Um, and then I'm just going to put in a sampler right there. And I'm going to drag that tone in that we recorded. And that is now what we have. So... Then I'm gonna turn these back on and bring them down here. I can turn that off for now. Okay, so we need a major increase in volume. That's fine. Shit, come on, man. Let me turn on the master again. Just need a volume boost to level it out. All right, on the sampler, I want to make sure that I have enough voices. Where are the voices? Where's the voices option? Voices six. I should probably turn that up to like eight just to be safe. Um, and then I'm going to compare how these two sound. Let's start with this one. This one will be laggy as shit. Cool, turn that off, turn this one on. Sounds pretty much the fucking same. Crylax TV, thank you for subscribing, bro, appreciate it. 
So it sounds almost exactly the same. Let's listen one more time. This one won't even like fucking load. And then I turn this one on and So that's just uh, something that you can do uh, for your chords because um, I use a lot of chords and chords, voices, all that stuff. When you have it in a synth, it takes up a shit ton of computer processing power. <gasps> so by just switching it over to a sampler like that, you can save a shit ton of CPU. So now that I have that, I can actually keep going. But... Um, Oh, that's why this is low. I'll oh, actually have to turn this down. Anyways. So let's. So this flutter, this is my chord slayer rack and this is basically just here for um, my chords, it's what I use to make my, it's what I've been using for like the past like month or so, two months to make my chords and my tracks. Um, so this flutter right here, you just drag and drop, or you, uh, I'm sorry, you create the automation and then you can drag it and drop it and you'll see what it does. So. So that's what it does. It, if you draw the automation just in triangles, it, it flattens it out and makes it sound all pretty. And then um, there's a couple other things you can tweak. There's like sustain, for example, if I wanted less sustain, I could turn that down. Lead headroom, this is, if you uh, put this at the frequency the root frequency where your lead is, it'll make it sound the best so that the lead can cut through and it's not competing for sound. This is Chord Slayer. And the chords just sound really, really good. So, let's check this out. this to be a bit longer. Cool. And there's a note here. What's the note say? Uh, this is because at some point I'm going to give this away. So the third party plugins are Serum, Camel Crusher, Xfro, TT, and Golfos. Uh, Serum is paid, Golfos is paid, but the other two are free and you don't necessarily need Golfos. Um, so for best chords, fill in notes between C5 and C1. So let's go make sure that's done right now. C5 is right there, so we need some more notes going up to there and C1 is down here. So we, we just need way more notes. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go drag and drop this up here, drag and drop this down here. What? Wait, fuck. What was it? F sharp. So do that. And then even another one right there. And then we'll get rid of everything. It's like right there. And then we'll get rid of everything that's up here. And of course, those ones <laughs> don't have anything, but that's all right.
and why is the velocity so low? I guess it doesn't matter. But um, that's how they uh, sound full. I might want to get rid of this top one. Let's see. Oh, I need more voices. Make sure you have enough voices. Probably 12 to be safe. And I want to, because this sounds a little bit messy down here, I'm going to get rid of some of these and put in the, um, let me turn this off real quick. Get rid of that. Cool. So that should sound better. Let's try it out. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Um, so let's balance everything else out. I don't really want anything right now except for the lead and this chord patch. And I have this one. I like the way that this is. I spent a decent amount of time uh, putting like that phaser on or whatever. This is kind of raw. I didn't use this back when I made this track, which was February, so. Turn this back on, right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm going to group these right now to just get the first subgroup. And this is going to be drop instruments. And after that, we're going to get the sub. I have another rack that is a sub that I'll just throw on right there. Hi, Bill. And on that, I'm going to... First and foremost, I'm going to replace this with operator because we don't need to take up CPU or we don't need to. So put on operator. I'm going to do a 16-bit just to make it easier on myself. And then I think I need to go down one like that. And then I'm going to take this MIDI and then get rid of everything except for the bass. Perfect. And then copy the flutter from here, paste it onto here. Cool. I want to check that sub level just to make sure sub level is the most important and then we can kind of take everything from there. 
So it's like a little tiny bit strong for right now. I can maybe get it up that strong and post, but I don't wanna push it too hard for no reason right now. So let's take it down to like neg 19, check again. That's a pretty good sub level. I usually like it right over that, that neg 10 to start. What notes are we playing here? This is D and that's C. I can bring this up and then these aren't playing. Perfect. Just to make sure I want there to be a cutoff, 300 hertz, should be, yeah, it's right there. We're good. All right, so what we're gonna do now is figure out the root frequency of this lead. Shouldn't be that hard. 696. Easy. Go back up onto this, go over here, let's do 690. There we go. Now everything is perfectly fit and we are fucking rocking. See how easy that was? I mean, we already had like the chord MIDI and whatever, but still, I could have made that in half a second. I have to tweak that anyway, so. Did I turn any of this off? No, I didn't. What is this? Oh, that's the tone. We can get rid of that now. Um, don't need an empty MIDI track. This is the drop chord MIDI. I'll keep this just in case. Turn that off. Don't need that. That can go away. That's the sub. This is the lead. These are fills. We do need these. Don't need to be quite as loud. Um, this growl is stupid loud for no reason. Getting rid of that for right now. Don't need it. Sounds good. Love that sound. I'll, I'll touch more on that in a second. All right, so this is good. Fills. Phase Reese. We're going to move that down here because that doesn't come till later. This is the orchestral drum. So this actually shouldn't even be in this part at all, which is... Oh, okay. I didn't even put any other instruments in here. All right, so I need to put the sub up in here. Actually, no, the sub does not go in there. The lead will go in here. Uh, these will be chords. These will be chords early. Try to put this up above there. There's the sub. This is the fill, orchestral drum. We could put this in the instruments. Basically, everything I'm putting in the instruments uh, group is what is going to be side-chained. So if it's not going to be side-chained, don't put it in that group. Um, this can go up in here. Put this below the lead. I hope that went in. Yeah. Uh, we have... Okay. This Kill Bill sound is... That's the reverb. This is the sound. <laughs> Both of these will 100% go up in here, probably above the growl. This one above this one. And I'm gonna trim these, cause I don't like for their, it, it gets confusing when there isn't uh, 
signal. So that's good. This is kill bill. This is kill bill. Reverb. Perfect. So with this, just go away. Orchestral drum. This is going to be part of drums. We can group that. Fuck. There. Uh, this clav, we'll put this in drums, I guess. I love this sound. This is the boo -doo, doo 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 Look. This scream goes up here. We'll put it above the kill bill. I want to compress this. I don't know why I didn't have a compressor on this before, but that is just really fucking frustrating. Sounds a lot better. And I hate this reverb. I almost don't want it there at all. We'll take it down to negative 28 and leave it there. harmonic lead harmonic C take this up put under lead this is scream what's left this arp That'll go on post drop. Um, so we're gonna leave it there for right now. Let's touch more in on drums. This chord MIDI can go in instruments. Right there on top. Yo, Balorum, how do you pronounce your name? Is it is it Bellorum or is it Balorum? Yeah, I'll play this in the beginning in one second. I had asked the same thing to uh, Yetep yesterday because I wasn't sure if it was Yetep or Yetep or what. I want to make sure. We can't disrespect the legends out here. I have to make sure I'm pronouncing correctly. Um, I lost my train of thought. We're going to do, oh yeah, drums. All right, let's do some drums. We'll just stick with this, the basic ones for now. Let's go here.
Hey, no. Hey, stop it. Hang on, the cat's trying to get out the fucking screen door. Do you want to lose your privileges? Do you want to? No. Don't be bad. You can't go outside. Come here. Come here. Let's see your hands. Oh, I see. I have to take you to mom. You gotta get your claw caps put back on. You're being bad. Cat's trying to get out the fucking door. We open the back screen door so he can see outside because he likes to watch the birds and shit. And the dude's trying to rip open the fucking door. Don't be a jackass. to match those kicks up in a minute but everything you say cuz i want to know do you feel the same lost my composure stuck inside my head i want to know I gotta figure out exactly where the drums were in this one. Okay. So there's like a, a main and then there's a little poppy one. I'll grab like a company kick or something for now. That'll work. Okay, leave that there. So it's a little bit before. Okay. So I don't need all that fucking shit in here. Don't need this. Bro, you picked the worst fucking times to call me. The homie's gonna have to wait.
I'm not even gonna touch it right now. This needs tuned. I hate simpler and sampler. I hate them all. I just want to change the fucking... I want to change the... Mm, fuck. Let's try this. They're much better. And then I also want to... Frequency shifter. Oh, wrong one. This should be fine. It's still in key. Thanks for hosting, bro. Appreciate it. Everybody say thank you, Bellarum, for hosting. Ah, oh, fuck. Needs to be more of like a little bump instead of a too much uh, attack. So
concentrate on anything but you I wish I could read your mind, tell me I'm feeling the way you do Uh, fuck I guess I'll just use this Quran music is that is that did I say it right? Quran music. Thank you for subscribing, bro. Appreciate it. Quran. There was like some reverb swells and shit that I did not grab. So we'll just remake them. No big deal. Maybe this too. Oops. Oops. Why so loud? Where did I put that reverb, dog? Oh, fuck. Yikes. I gotta sit up straight or my back's gonna kill me later. needs to be done but let's just take it one thing at a time I do want to take this flutter at least the sub I want the sub to be uh Where's the sub? Where the fuck is the sub? It's up here. Down here? There it is. Perfect. High percussion. Rilo Ken, thank you for subscribing, bro. Okay, 
Okay, we have Crash to layer on the kick. Let's just grab this one. Throw the fade. You'll notice that it'll start to all come together. You're very welcome. Thanks for watching. I like to share this with you guys. I see no reason not to. Okay. Now it's time for the poke trick. Actually move this over here. Go. Gives it a little bit of a poke and it'll stick through the mix way more if I did it the right way. I don't know if I did or not yet. fuck is it? What do I do with this? Oh, is it a rack? Yes, yeah, in the racks. There it is. Fuck, come on.
Sounds like shit. Why? This is too loud. I know that. Or is it this? Hello, sir. You're going to be good now? You're going to be good? Yes? Thank you. I had the same problem last time I did a, I redid a song. I had to like figure out how to make the chords like have sustain. Maybe I just need reverb on him. Might have been that. All right, who wanted, uh, somebody asked for me to play the whole thing from the beginning. I'm about to do it in just a second. Still want that or just want me to keep going? From the beginning or continue? Fuck. Ooh, shit. Uh, yeah, I'll play it from the beginning. Okay. I have to go. I have to go home to my parents' house to see him. They got him. This is Taylor. Momo. Momo, come here. Come here, Momo. Come here. Come here. Momo's not coming here right now. Come here, sir. Now he's disinterested. Momo is Taylor's cat. He's a fantastic boy and also a very evil boy. All right, let me play this from the beginning. Here we go. soon as it decides it wants to quit lagging. All right, I'm gonna play it and fill up my water. Hopefully it doesn't start cackling. Come on, go back down. All right. Open 
Open up my heart, get my hopes too high Broken from the stars, so I pass my time Telling myself that I'm good on my own Then you saw me straight through the camouflage Took away my hate, made me realize Maybe I shouldn't be all on my own But I can't look away Concentrate on anything but you Wish I could read your mind, tell me I'm feeling the way you do That's as far as we got right now. Momo, what do you think? He thinks, I want a piece of chicken. And to go run around outside. Thank you, thank you. Glad you guys like it. All right, sir. Do you want to stay here or do you want to go? If you want to stay, that's fine, but I'm going to get back to work. If you want to go, that's fine too. Make your choice. Ouch. Or claw my leg. That's fine. All right, he's going back to try to open the door. So this is what the, f the old project file drop sounded like. I have to figure out how to make it sound more like this. Momo does need some chicken in nature. He also likes hamburgers. It really just comes down to longer sustain, I think, on these chords. Dude loves fucking hamburger. Momo is the original Can I Has Cheeseburger Cat. He's like, he doesn't even ask though. He just fucking takes. He wants, he takes. If we're eating dinner, he'll like jump up on the table and like act all sweet and loving. And like he wants to be a good boy. And then the second somebody goes up to fill up their cup, he's snagging burger off the plate. Dude loves burger. Just talking about Momo? Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't gone back to the screen door. 
I've been keeping an eye on him. No, I like it open. It's on. Yeah, but I hear the crickets. Come on, stop sucking, make better music. I have to figure out what's going on. All right, let's try putting in some more sounds. That usually fixes all the world's problems. Why no sound? Oh. No, why no sound? What the fuck? <laughs> Doesn't sound good either. All right, we have to do serum. Operator won't work. New house is good. It's uh, a lot of work, um, and find out very quickly how much furniture you don't have. But aside from that, it's great. Love it here. Oh, I hate cutting the grass though. That sucks. Come on, tell me this is the stuff. Hell yeah, brother, Amazon guy just pulled up. It's Amazon time.
Yeah, all in all, it's quite nice. Thank you for asking. Oh, it's package time. Thank you, Amazon man. Hey, Tay, did you order something on Amazon? Or is that me? Oh, let's go. I'll get it in a minute. That's fine. No, it can't be the rug. It's way too small. Okay, I don't know then. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Man, I'm tired. I feel like I'm falling asleep while working. It's crazy if you would have told me 10 years ago that there would be next day delivery of any kind I'd be like no no way Jeff's really out here doing that All this really needs is more sustain. If I can give it more sustain, then it's gonna sound good. What the fuck is wrong with me? Damn it. All right, I have to put in the, um... Later today, I'm gonna do a stream where I go through a bunch of fucking, um... free VST plugins. And, uh, see if I can do shit with them or if they're any good free vst excuse me free vst plugin review that's what i'll call it Too much, too much, too much. Fuck.
Oh, I was afraid of this. I don't think this has enough mono signal. go crazy with the high percussion here for a little bit. This is the animal hat. Yo, thanks for being here. Appreciate you stopping by. See you next time. Have a great work. Good boy. This is like not quite good enough. No. It's like too much. Please don't sound like shit. I just want this to sound good. Maybe if I just do like that the whole time? I don't know. The fucking, uh. The pop smoke hats. I actually do like that. I am big hungry, fuck. Right, let's get some more in there.
Man, fuck. I do need a snack. No, I don't need a snack. I need to eat a fucking meal. I had two pieces of toast for breakfast. I'm 230 pounds. What the fuck am I doing? Ride. That's what it's called. Can you tell I'm tired? I'm not even kidding when I turn off OBS and I don't even stream out OBS. This is just a capture. That's it. No more. That's it. What is this? What is duration? Oh, this is for a transition. Is there anything I can do to make this not shit on my computer? Probably not. Yay. What is that? Uh, this is pissing me off. This, right? Yeah. This needs more sustain. Okay, it actually does sound better. Charmanders, thanks for subbing again, bro. Let's get that fucking track going soon. I'm ready to work. That's why uh, I have a couple of other things I need to do first. But I want to work. Yeah, I'm really excited to get these new fucking plugins this afternoon. This is going to be crazy. Oh, everything is already audio. There's like three things that are actually running MIDI. But I 
concentrate on anything but you I wish I could read your mind, tell me I'm feeling the way you do There's no lead reverb either. That that needs to be there. That'll like help fill up space. Why did I put in a fucking MIDI track, dog? I am losing my mind today. Absolutely losing my shit. I am dumb as fuck. Oh, what plugins? Uh, I sent a list in the Discord. I'm just downloading a bunch of free plugins. I went thread browsing today and found a bunch of free plugins that look really interesting and really cool, so I want to review them. What's the best way to get chords around vocals? Uh, can you elaborate more of what like you mean by that? Like the best way to fit vocals in with chords or if you uh, if you can just like elaborate exactly what you mean, I'll I'll do my best to explain to answer your question. I thought that would work. It worked yesterday and something I was doing. Okay, so getting chords to fit with vocals perfectly. Perfectly, uh, I can't tell you because I've never done that perfectly, but I think I've gotten it decently well on multiple occasions. And I can tell you what I've done to do that. Um, so the vocal has a whatever sound you have um yeah first of all the chord should be in key with the vocals 100 percent 
but when you're mixing them together, the vocal is going to have a root frequency, all sounds have a root frequency, and that's usually the lowest frequency um, that is to that sound, uh, the main frequency, the main frequency, the primary frequency of that um, uh, sound. So for example, on these vocals, I'll play these and I'll, then you saw me so the root frequency is like here. Then you saw me straight. And this is like the, the second harmonic. Then you saw me straight through the can So what I usually do is I take the root frequency in the second harmonic and I just make a little band right there like that. Then you saw me straight. Where I lower them. I don't leave this on this track. I take this EQ and I drag and drop this on whatever other sounds I have. And by making room for that, that root frequency in that first harmonic, second harmonic, whatever, I don't know the proper terminology, but that harmonic, the first one that comes after the root frequency, um, it clears up a lot of room, makes the vocal sound way brighter. You don't need to, I thought that you always had to do a ton of work up in here and the upper ranges and stuff. You do, you, it can't be like, you can't have a synth that has like crazy amounts of like high end or else you won't be able to hear the high end of your vocal. But if you make headroom for that, um, that root frequency and that harmonic, your vocals are gonna come out way, way, way fucking clear. Way clear. It's like night and day, so. Hang on one second, I gotta reply to a text. Okay, I'll go. Hopefully, let me know if that works uh, explanation wise. Yo, Robbie, what's up, man? How you holding up out in San Diego? It was fantastic to see you that night. That was great. Following up on that, do you have any tips when it comes to post-processing your vocals to fit in with your tracks? Uh, post-processing your vocals, um, like after recording, um, so like straight out of microphone, what to put on like the thing after you record them in the mic. You want to use uh, a fair amount of compression. Um, with the compression, the kind of... Uh, you don't want there to be major peaks. There's a lot of peaks when you just take like a vocal clip straight out of a microphone. So you want to use a lot of compression. Um, I usually use like a stock compressor and I set the threshold for like, I don't know, maybe like negative 15 or so, uh, depending on how loud I recorded my vocal. Um, and then I'll set like a, like a, a pretty high uh, ratio, like I'd say maybe around like. Then you saw me straight through the camouflage, took away my I, I'd usually do at least like three. Then you saw me straight through the camouflage. I don't need to over compress that one, but then you see how this one doesn't have any crazy peaks. If there were crazy peaks, if this uh, then you saw me straight through lighter the green one was going crazy all the way up there and shit, then you'd need to really, really dial in on the compressor. Um, but that would, um, that's a great place to start. I usually throw on a, like an OTT, but I keep it super gentle, like 10, 15%. That seems to help a lot. Um, after that it's EQ. Um, the way I do my EQ, because I don't know how to properly EQ vocals. So I try to find a vocal that sounds as similar to the vocal that I, I have or recorded as possible. Um, so whatever the artist sounds like, for example, Dirty Chime here, he did his own, so I didn't have to do it. But if he would have given me the raw recording, he sounds kind of like Black Bear. So I would have gone and gotten a Black Bear acapella, and I would have um, done an EQ match on the Black Bear acapella, and then done this to that, and, and pulled up the um, amount of matching up until it sounds like pretty similar. 
So if you have the compression and the OTT on and then you do that EQ, that will pretty much make it sound very good. Um, from there, it's just minor things like DSing and a couple EQ tweaks here and there. And that's the best way to process vocals that I know of. I'm not a pro at it at all, but hopefully that's a good starting point. I don't use the beats anymore. I in a furious rage one evening after making a song with a really, really, really shitty mix down. I uh, I still have them, but I had to pull them out of the trash because I threw them away. Rage ordered these Sennheiser 650s. Um, I'm extremely happy with them. They're a lot more clear. I think the results I've been getting out of them are a lot better than the Beats. Um, I still swear by the Beats, and because they're 80 bucks, it's a fantastic beginner headphone. I really, really, really liked those. Uh, but these are a million times better, um, as they should be. They're like six times the price. So, But even in the world of headphones, these are still pretty cheap. They're like 350 I don't want to buy anything too expensive because I don't want to use anything that I can't recommend to someone else. So this is pricier. This is more of a commitment. But if you're serious about producing, I would I would recommend these for sure. And you saw me straight through the Shit, I forgot to take that off. Uh, Rilo Ken, um, you're improvising by recording on your phone. Uh, phone, iPhone microphones in particular are actually have pretty good uh, mics. Um, not the best, but they're decent. Um, I would highly recommend getting a condenser mic at some point. You could probably get like a anything between like seventy-five and a hundred dollars, and it would carry you for a pretty long time. You can get really good sound out of those um so yeah maybe consider doing that if you already have an audio interface i wouldn't recommend a usb microphone i would get a condenser microphone What'd you get? Okay. What the fuck? Oh, it's the blanket. Let's go. How's it look? Can I see? Yeah, I have to. Okay, that's fine. Shit, that's fucking. That's not terrible. It's no, just, just not big. Throw a blanket. Yeah, it's fine. We're trying to tell the stream we're trying to get decorations now that we've got the basics. The stream can hear you, but we're trying to get oh, decorations. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. I like that. Cool. I have to go to the bathroom. What do you want for lunch? We have to leave in like an hour. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going pee.
Oh yeah, they're straight up UFOs. Pentagon said so. drum bus out of here so that it's not affected by the drum bus. Actually, no. Go back. This is... Too much drum bus. is way too strong. try.
Damn it. This snare is going to be a fucking challenge and a half. I have to try to volume shape this snare because it's just not working. Drums just do not sound good right now.
What's up, Pixel Terror boys? Bro, I, I I went to Dirty Chime after listening to the track that you guys did with him. It was fucking amazing. Dude, oh, get out of my fucking way. Jeez. I don't know if this is going to sound good or not. Probably not. Yeah, a bit weird. A bit too... 8-bit. <laughs> Let's try a different sound. Try the delay stereo. I really hope I can finish this track today. If I have to fucking work on this tomorrow, I'm gonna be so upset.
I'm not crazy about the sound. I want to switch it. Still just doesn't really sound that cool. Let me try. This is the bass. Let's duplicate this actually. Alright, we're actually getting somewhere where it's sounding halfway decent. This is good.
Bye bye. See you later. Thanks for dropping in. Fucking hell. God damn it. It just doesn't have that, like, whatever it needs that will make it sound, like, really cool. It's just not fucking there. Did I delete the ARP? No, here's the ARP. Okay. do some panning on this I think oh my back hurts Thank you. 
volume is way down on the channel, but on the uh, master, there's a 10 decibel boost, and on this limiter, there's a... Oh, I need to turn this down. That's also contributing to all the shit. Nine. Nine decibels there. So there's, like, a lot of fucking uh, jamming. So it's, there's basically, like, a 19 decibel, like, push on it. Yeah, it's fucking OBS. Oh, this is fucking terrible. I can't handle this anymore. Alright, sorry everybody. I'm gonna have to end the stream right now. Um, I got somewhere to be in about an hour anyway, so I have to get ready, but I can't deal with this lag anymore, but, um, I'll be back later tonight, I'm gonna do a, uh, review of a bunch of free plugins and stuff, so, if you haven't already joined the, join, excuse me, join the Discord, link is right there, hop in the Discord, say what's up, um, and I'll see you guys later tonight, thanks for watching, see you guys.